What's up? Chris, UFC 152 post fight. I know I said I was going to do the video last night, but I don't know. Just kind of tired and not feeling it. Not that I wasn't feeling it after the event, but I was just tired and a little bit of pain yesterday after I got home last night. But uh, better late than never. Maybe, maybe not. Whatever. Kind of like UFC 152 or John Jones' Tower defense. Better late than never, right? Um, pretty good main event, you know? I mean, if nothing else, it definitely went longer than most of us anticipated it would have, or at least most people I, I heard or talked to. Um, you know, and not only that, we thought, hey, if Vitor has a chance to win this fight, it's going to be by a knockout by a, in the first round by a punch. And although that wasn't the case, he did almost win this fight in the first round by armbar. I don't know who you're watching the fight with or where. I was watching the sports bar. First off, I will say that I was surprised how many people were there to watch this fight. Um, I thought that the place was just packed because there was an event going on in town. But no, everyone was tuning in this fight. And when it was over, everyone pretty much broke out. So a lot of people were into this fight, particularly whenever Vitor was on offense or not on his back. Um, but obviously, most particularly when he had that armbar on, it really looked like he was going to be able to finish that fight. I mean, you got to give it up to Vitor for going for it, but you got to give John Jones credit for fighting his way out of it. And after that, it was kind of like, damn, there went Vitor's moment, possibly. That, that was it. And it did turn out to be that. You know, he hung in there, but... Once he started getting smashed with those elbows, it's like, yeah, this is pretty much the fight that I anticipated. Um, one thing I'll say about Jones, I hate those little kicks he does to people's knees. I know they're not illegal, but they just seem dirty, you know? What are you going for there? You're not really going to earn points or to, you know, finish a fight. You just, I don't know what you're going for, but it just doesn't seem, seems a little dirty on my part, or in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, Vitor just never really let his hands go much. When he did, he never really could land anything. But he just didn't let him go that often. I don't know if he was tired or if he was a little winded after getting beat down from those elbows. But he hung in there. You know, he took that body shot. I thought it was going to be over then when he went to the ground after that. But in the end, you kind of knew Jones was going to was gonna stop me. He said, no, when? Happened in the fourth round. It looked like he was going to finish it for the crucifix. But then he put on that key lock and I uh, tapped him out. But it was a pretty solid fight. You know, it was a good championship fight considering the circumstances and everything that happened. And, you know, it'd be in replacement. I think Vitor put up a suitable effort, and Jones once again looked dominant in winning. As far as the co-main event, um, Demetrius Johnson wins. Once again, I overlooked him. <laughs> you know, he got the win. I'll say this, though. I don't know what it is, but I just don't like watching Demetrius Johnson fight. Um, he fights somewhat like Frankie Edgar. A lot of movement, a lot of punches, um, a lot of in-and-out type stuff. But it's just not as exciting. He doesn't really commit to his shots. So he doesn't really throw anything hard. You never think he's going to finish a fight. Um, it's kind of a point fighter. In a way that Leona Machida used to be. Not the same style, but, you know, he's just kind of looking to get to the decision based on the way he fights, it looks like. And he got it, but I don't know. I'm just not entertained by it. I agree with the decision. I had Demetrius Johnson win the fight. I thought it three rounds of two, but just not a fan. And, you know, I'm not really looking forward to any of his future fights, even as a champion. Bisping Stan, good fight. Not as good as I thought it was going to be. Bisping went for the takedowns. Um, didn't do as good on top as I thought he would. I thought he would dominate Brian Stan from the top position, but he did it. Got enough takedowns and did, did better on the feet outside of getting hurt in the first round. To win the fight, I say give him Anderson Silva next. What the hell? Feed him to Silva. He's been around long enough. It'll sell a lot of fights. It'll sell a lot more pay-per-views than Silva versus Weidman. That's for damn sure. Whether or not Bisping is a better challenge. Just give him the fight. Let Anderson beat him up and be done with it. Matt Hamill's fight sucked. He got the win. You know, whatever. Charles Oliveira, I don't know what the hell happened there. I don't know. I don't know if he... <laughs> I don't know. You just usually don't see guys go down like that. But anyways, uh, TJ Grant and Evan Dunham fight. Great fight. The Facebook fight. Three quick stoppages. Great. Overall, it was a pretty solid event, you know? Um, and I think the fact that we had gone like a month without a UFC kind of helped, you know? Sometimes it seems like the sport's oversaturated with so many fights. So when you have a little bit of a break, it makes you look more forward to an event when it finally happens. And I think maybe because of that, this event when I was watching it was more entertaining than, you know, if you watch it on second viewing. It might not be as enjoyable outside of the prelims. The prelims are pretty good. But overall, good event. No complaints. Want to hear your guys' thoughts on the fights? Overall the event, did you enjoy it? Um, you know, would you give Bisping, would you, would you give uh, Bisping a shot at Anderson Silva next? What do you think about Demetrius Johnson and Judge Benavides? How'd you score that? And thoughts on Belfort versus Jones 
and anything else in general. That's it for now. We're talking this Salt and Science Finds Radio Show coming up shortly, depending on when you see this. That links to that and everything else Science Finds related as well as my Twitter. In the information part of the video, as always, till next time, I'm out.